Hi, I'm Mr. Tom, and I love to share tips that help students get through fast forward in the best way possible. I've worked with thousands of students, was a struggling student myself way back when. Today, I want to talk to you about taking the assessment that all students take at the start of fast forward, and then again, as you finish different parts. It's called Reading Progress Indicator. It will measure your ability to hear certain kinds of sounds, as well as your ability to figure out how to correctly pronounce words you're seeing, and even figure out words you've never seen. It will also measure your comprehension, and finally, your vocabulary. So here are my tips. Take your time. Do your best. This is not a time to test. In fact, if you take long enough that you can't finish in one session, the computer will remember exactly where you were and bring you back there when you log in the next time. On questions that are read for you, you may hear the question again. Just look for this green speaker icon. Understand that it will almost always get difficult for you at some point. That's what it's supposed to do. Very few students, and I mean one out of a hundred, will get every answer right. So if you find a question or questions that you can't figure out, give it your best guess and go to the next question. This is not for a grade, so I hope you'll be as relaxed as possible about taking it. The computer will use your score to give you your assignment, and that leads me to the number one reason for doing your best. The computer uses your score to place you in the exercises you need the most practice in. If you rush through the answers without giving them time, energy, and thought, you may end up with exercises that under other circumstances you might have been able to skip completely. Now, go do your very best.